Hey Jelly Babes, I can't believe another year has gone by already, it's gone by so quickly so I thought I'd do sort of an updated sort of room reveal so not really much has changed as regards the setup I've just got to show you how gorgeous this sort of bedding is with the butterflies and the sequins, so cool so as you can kind of see if you remember from watching my one that I did last year if you've not I'll leave that in link, links to that um, in, in the description box Please excuse all the mess. It's the price you pay when you do nail art. Um, so this is kind of what I have on my desk. So I've got my little sort of fake nails that I pop on my nails for my reviews. You may or may not have realised that, but no, these are not my real nails. This is what I put on just so I can do designs on a more regular basis. And these two are my sort of nail artisan stampers. So I've kind of got all my stampers there and then um, I've got my sort of stamping polishes all out here. Well, not all of them, but a selection of them, as you can see here. Now, these were Born Pretty ones, and they were sent for review. And that's just my sort of acetone and isopropyl alcohol that I have in, like, a pump thing. So this is kind of like my storage. It's not great. I will sort of go through these drawers and show you what's in them in more detail. And I'm rapidly <laughs> running out of space to store all my stuff. I'm going to have to try and get a better sort of, sort of storage system because I'm not getting rid of anything. So there's a little sneak peek of my polishes and glitters. So then down here, it's kind of like more glitter that I haven't been able to store properly. Um... And just sort of bits and bobs really that are just sort of easy to hand. And then underneath here is like my acrylic paints and some vinyls and makeup that I use. You know, I don't know if you saw my DIY sort of eyeshadow hack. I'll leave links to that as well in this video. So that's like my UV, UV lamp that um, I still keep just in case I need to use it and do you know like Christine has like a peel porn bag thing mine's like the same but it's like pop sticks <laughs> I've pretty much I think kept every pop stick that I've ever sort of done a design on or um, done you know swatches of so I've got a box there and if I just get up these two boxes are actually filled with um, pop sticks as well and I'll just open it up so you can have a closer look so back in the day when I was actually organised, I would have all these sort of on the sort of um, sticks and things like that. If you followed me from like kind of early on when I started out my channel, some of these pop sticks you might kind of remember me doing tutorials on. But yeah, but like, I mean, these hold about 50 pop sticks. So you can see that I've got quite a collection of gathering here. I mean, they just go, they just carry on and on and on. And then this is when I just couldn't be bothered to put them on the sort of holders anymore and um, just sort of started to throw them in a little bit more. Yeah, so this is another one where I kind of just thrown it all in. I couldn't be bothered in the end. And you may have seen some of these from like my old 31 day challenge um, in that design. And then this section here is just kind of like my cotton pads. And again, more pop sticks. <laughs> um, so here are my drawers where I store my gel polish. I'll sort of show you those in more depth later. But I'll try and keep them in the dark. Then this one is kind of like some of my normal polishes, you know, like regular normal polish. And then in this bottom one is my sort of stamping plate collection, which actually doesn't seem like I've got that much there, but wait till you see it all now. <laughs> So these are my Marianne Nails plates. So I have uh, two of these XL Marianne Nail plates. And in fact, all my Marianne Nail plates have been sent for review, which was really nice. So I've got these ones, which is their sort of older packaging. And I got sent... So I got sent these. I just love their old packaging. But these, unfortunately, they weren't sent in this packaging, but they're the kind of the same sort of, sort of plates. And then recently, as you'll no doubt remember, I got sent some of their new professional plates, which I absolutely love. So I got sent five of those. So that's a grand total of 24 Marianne nail plates. And I do love them. They are really sort of nice quality and pretty plates. 
So then moving on to my DRK plate, so I've got this Seasons plate which I purchased and this one that was sent from Nail Artisan for review. Then going on to my Moira one, so I've just got a three there, so Vintage, Lovelace and Mandala. And this I got sort of real early on actually when I first started out with my stamping. I don't use them a lot, I don't know why. I think they just get lost in my stamping collection. But you get six of these, so obviously that's a total of six of CC and CC plates. And then here are my Born Pretty ones, so obviously these were all sent for review, so you can find all these Born Pretty um, plates on a playlist, so if you want to go and check them out, it's all there on a playlist for you. So I've got a total of 31 Born Pretty plates. And then here are my Moyu ones, so I think bar literally like two or three, I've purchased all these by myself. So I'll just show you here. So I've got five of the Pro Plates. Um, one, two, three of the Tropical. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot about this one. It was my Arabesque one. This was actually a Prezi from my friend Stephanie for my anniversary this year. Um, I'm going to have to get around to reviewing that. That's the only, I don't think that's the only one I haven't reviewed. So then I've got two Mandala, one Fashionista, two Origami, one Frenchy, which I still haven't mastered. I will find a way one, one day. <laughs> then I got one Holy Shapes, one Sailor, one Kaleidoscope. Ooh, I'm trying to get them neat. I've got one illusion and then you've got mother nature yep that's mother nature so i've got one two three four of these one explorer one bridal which was a small size <laughs> it was too small one suki and finally fairy tale so that's 27 moyu plates I've got a Juba, so obviously you know in these packages you get two plates in one and they're double sided, so that's a total of four Ajubas plates that were sent for review. And then I got I actually won these on a giveaway on Instagram. So that's the four um Puyin plates that I have there. And these are probably ones that you'll recognise that I've done more recently. These are the leaner plates, these are new plates, and they are fabulous. So Bundle Munster, um, these are the blogger collaboration so obviously you get five in each one so that's like 15 of these and i absolutely love bundle monster plates they are ace and again all of these you can find on reviews on my channel so then these are three lady queen plates and i don't know whether this company's kind of gone bust they've sort of went a bit quiet um sort of dreamy m contacted me and said about that they might have gone out of like business but those were plates that were sent for review anyways. And I got one Sugar Bubbles plate, which I purchased. And I've got this one, I haven't even reviewed it either. So this is another Bundle Monster plate, which is um, the jungle one, which is very, very cute. Got one Messy Mansion plate. And then uh, these were what I got from Nail Artisan. So you got one BBF plate and one Decor Onus plate. So moving on to my uber chic plates then, so I've got, that's the love and marriage plate one and then I've got collections, what have I got here, I've got collection nine so that's, you get three plates in each collection, so I've got collection nine, collection six, collection five, collection three and collection one so that's those there and shamedly, <laughs> I hold my head in shame. I've actually got another two collections which have been sitting in my drawer for months. I mean, this is when I purchased them from um, She Sells, She Sells, no, She Sells Seashells. And um, I sort of panic buyed them when they were stopped purchasing them. So I've actually got collections two and four here, which I haven't even got around to reviewing yet. I know it's terrible. But um, Nail Artisan stocks them now, so any future work bargains will come through um, Nail Artisan. So that's a total of 22 
uber chic plates <laughs> so that is all my stamping plates all together i know it's a crazy amount it totals 148 plates but actually i've purchased more than been sent for review so you know <laughs> so here are my stamping polishes obviously i've got my ones out on the desk and you can see a review of these stamping polishes as well so that's 19 that were sent of born pretties so then i've got uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12 hit the bottle polishes all purchased by me and i love these these are a really good brand of stamping polish because they're really highly pigmented and they'll stamp well over black so then Moyu, I've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 Moyu polishes. Again, all purchased via me. I've got four Conad ones. This one here, they're a really good polish actually. Um, I wasn't that mad on these, I kind of got them off eBay. I think they're a bit of a cheaper version of it. So as Maltus to Kelly, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those, and three of them are from the holographic range. So this is Colours by Allure, so I've got the holographic one and a chameleon one and actually out of all my polishes these were my most regretted um, purchase because they look gorgeous in the bottom but actually I don't think they stamp very well at all. So my Born Pretty ones, these are my miniature ones, so you get, um, I think it was six in total, six colours or maybe five, I got it wrong, but I got these really early on, actually when I first started out um, stamping, I think you could buy them, I think it was like £10, and do you know what, I can still use them, they still work, they haven't dried up, which I think is really, really good, but they're, I think you can still purchase them on eBay actually. So I've got some queen ones again, I've got these off eBay and do you know what, they're so frustrating, these were so good, you could get a black and a white polish which you know is the most expensive for like £8 off eBay and I think they've just stopped selling them and I'm gutted because they're like a real good polish and um, I, what I think is a real good price as well. And finally, these are my most recent, which are colour alike. So that's a grand total of 75 stamping polishes, 19 that were sent for review and 56 that I've purchased. Um, and here are my stampers. These, I have got more, but these are the ones that I kind of use on a regular basis. So this one I purchased and these are my go-to for stampers. They're super squishy and st um, sticky. And this one was actually sent for review. Uh, so these are my Moyu ones, which I purchased. So that was like my first sort of squishy, sticky stamper. Then this is my creative one. I think this was my first ever marshmallow stamper, actually. It was that one. And then these are Marianne nails. So you've got a clear jelly stamper and their sort of marshmallow stamper, which were sent for review. And then my clear jellies, I've got um, one that I purchased from Rainbow Connection. This is my cheapie from eBay, which I think stamps really well. And then I've also got this one, which was sent from Born Pretty for review. And I have got videos on these if you want to see them in action as well. So moving on to my regular polish, sort of normal polish. I've actually quite quite a bit for somebody that doesn't use it on their own nails because obviously I use gels. Um, but yeah, but these are kind of all of them. So what shall I do first? So if I go down to this one here. Now these, you'll have sort of seen them on my sort of Poundland or bargain hauls. So these I purchased from Poundland because obviously they're only a pound and you can get quite a bit of them. Oh, look at that. I picked out a hollow straight away. I didn't even know it was there. But that, these, I mean, I don't know how safe these are to use or anything like that, but for value for money and actually how they work, they're really nice. So these were a gift off my friend, Stephanie. So I've got, I think I've got two nails ink ones. So then here, um, what have I got here? So I've got Revlon ones. So I can't, all of these pretty much have been my bargain haul polishes. I've got some magnetic ones here. W7. I've got sinful colours and three actually came all the way from Florida from my friend who got them when she was away. And these are like you sort of glitter, like chunkier ones. Again, only cheapies. Um, yeah, only cheapies. And obviously I've got my Sally Hansen ones as well with, with, with the Insta Dry. So pretty much all of these were purchased from by me, apart from a few of them that were gifts. 
So hopefully you haven't switched off and got totally bored by now. <laughs> but these are my gel collection. Now I've got these recently. I haven't even reviewed them and it probably won't be till next year till I get to sort of show you these. But I think you will actually get to see them in designs before I do reviews. So I've got like a selection of like mainly in 899 these were colour changing and these were uh, like ones that I got when I was sort of first started out with gels I kind of needed cheapy ones and I've got my magnet ones um that's kind of like what the bottles are like inside that box by the way this one I think I brought off my friend and those were those colour coat ones which uh, it took me a while to get used to and I think you can see most of these I've reviewed on my channel I think the magnetic ones and then I have my Madame Glam so I actually had four of them that were sent for review and I purchased the others and those two are actually gifts of my friend um Steffi and these four here were the ones that were sent for review now I love Madame Glam they are pricey but they're very well made and highly pigmented um and I love them and they have the best matte top coat ever so then these, um, I've, obviously you'll probably recognise them, that I've, I have reviewed them recently. So they're Melody Susie ones, which are one step gels. And I don't know if I remember, I don't remember if I mentioned it or not, but actually they've got a really nice sweet smell to them because you know some polishes can be a little bit potent. These have got like a nice smell to them. So these are my Born Pretty ones. They're kind of like, almost like a, like a chameleon top coaty type of thing. And I've got some of my GDI polishes as well. Now these, <laughs> they're my like sort of sentimental polishes because like I've used it, they've all gone. But like these were what my husband brought me when I sort of first started out with gels and he went out and spent these and he actually went and got them from Boots so it wasn't cheap. And I love the colours that he picked as well but I keep them for that sentimental reason. And um, what's this? Oh yes, that's my transfer foil, my liquid latex and that is my peel off base coat so the details are on the screen so moving on to glitter woohoo I love glitter as you can tell from my rather large collection <laughs> so these were what I kind of got again early on you kind of got big packs of them they're not particularly great quality but they're okay I suppose these were sent for review I uh, kind of got like little samples from glitter express so again you can see these on my channel if you're interested um these are kind of like glitter mixes like uh, i've kind of got like glitter mixes that i've done or glitter mixes that have been sent from my friend so these are my magpie ones so we've got ariel um lulu now i like magpie glitters but they're a bit pricey for me livy um elsa which i love and Anna. I think at one point the prices were okay, but they've gone up recently and I wasn't, you know, I don't think they're worth that much money. I'm so sorry for all Magpie Glitter lovers, but that's just my personal opinion. And these were recently sent to review from Nail Artisan. And then I've sort of purchased these and actually I haven't even got around to sort of doing things with all of these. I know I've, I've used some of them in my designs, but these are like sort of chunkier glitters, which you can sort of encapsulate. I'm sort of still trying to get the hang of that really. I love this one. I think this was Romantic Bohemian and I kind of used it in my autumn design. Gorgeous. So yeah, so these ones will probably come in more in, in sort of some of the brighter colours. So yeah, so I've, I've got to get my sort of head into gear with these and start using them more in my channel because they are very, very pretty. And these are Glitterati, by the way, if you're wondering, because it's not quite clear. So these are glitter arty ones. So I'm trying to get through these as quick as possible. So hopefully it's not boring you. So these are sort of the more ultra fine. I think actually these were their Galaxy collection. I think um, I sort of, my friend sort of brought like a big bag of them and then like sort of gave, I sort of put, purchased a little pot of them. And that's um, Gnarly Nails. That's a really nice one as well. Oops. Now this one was a friend from my, this was a gift from my nail tech friend, so it is ink, so that's why I don't use it, because obviously, you know, I don't want all nail techs going haywall at me. But I have got it, but I don't use it in my videos. 
Oh, so this was a glitter mix for my friend actually. Um, and she sort of gave me two. I think that was my, yep, my glitter mix. <laughs> yeah, so these are just, oh, I just love glitter. I'm like, it's just so eye-catching. So then I've, I have got reviews of these as well. These are like my reflections of mermaid glitters. Again, purchased from Glitter Arty. And they're really, really cool. And then these, uh, yeah, these what I brought. So I've got a lot of Glitter Arty actually. So this is some more of their sort of galaxy ones. I have, again, got reviews of these if you want to go and check them out. And then here's a few packages from that my friend sort of gave me. She sort of she has more of a glitter addiction than me and she has a serious amount of glitter. Um so she sort of gave me some of them as well. And uh these are my We Hot Nails glitters. Now these were all sent to me from We Hot Nails. Got some details there, and I did do a review on these. There's 24 holographic polishes sorry polishes what I'm on about glitters and I love these these are super super quality um glitters and a really good price as well and these are my most recent ones you will have probably only watched it that not so long ago these are their new um collection their hollow metallic glitters which I got sent the whole of their um nine from their new collection so if you've not seen that already please be sure to go and check those out and these are just these are not very good actually, I kind of got them from off eBay, but they're kind of a bit iridescent so you kind of almost lose them. And again these are eBay purchases. And then finally I had these from banggood.com. Now I did say I'd let you know about um, the sort of feedback on the two that were sent that were iridescent instead of holographic. And to be honest I wasn't that impressed with the response. Basically like um, the Banggood got in touch with the manufacturer and their response to it was, yeah they're not holographic. No, really, I didn't realise that. <laughs> um, but they kind of went along the line of they weren't being sold as holographic. It was kind of like a bling bling. Um, but that's not what I got from the advertising, to be completely honest. From the title and from the pictures, if I was purchasing that, I would be expecting to receive six holographic glitters, sort of not a mix and match. So that's the update on that. So you take from that what you want. But I thought I would update you on it anyway. So moving on to my powders, so again these are ones that I've recently done on my channel. So these are the Chameleon powders and a holographic one is in there somewhere. And I don't know why those are in there, <laughs> those are my shape cards. Um, so this was a chrome powder which was sent from banggood.com. This was a gift from my lovely friend. So this was actually from Nail Artisan and I think this was before kind of she started selling them on a store but you can purchase holographic ones off a store now. So you've got my Perfect Pills which I got from like a hobby craft. I think these I got from like a home bargains just to try to see whether they would work. And I've got 12 of these Happy Olives, they're Mika powders. And then I've got my pastel um, pigments which I've only recently just started using again. And then my absolutely much loved um, GNI um, Gnarly Nails Neon Powders. I love these. They are super, so super cool. So that's all my powders for you. Such a beautiful collection, isn't it? <laughs> so finally, I'm going to sort of speed this up a little bit. Um, you're probably bored out your brains by now. But anyway, this is kind of like my drawer where I have like my vinyls and my decals and some of my um, sort of rhinestones. This was the broken glass, you know, for the shattered glass. Um, so yes, yeah, so, so sort of more rhinestones, which I've kind of got of various things really. I've kind of got some off eBay and some out of like Poundland. So you've got like your jemmy wheel things here. I'll just sort of quickly show you. And then you've got the smaller ones you know, with different sort of studs and things going on there. 
So that is it guys, that is my products reveal and sort of a room tour, not that there's much of a room to tour around, so I hope that you've enjoyed it and sort of seen all my little products out and about, and like I say, anything, and most things that I've shown, you can actually go and check out on a video, so yeah, so all I can say is bring on the new year, I'm starting it off with a 31 day challenge as you already know, so please, please come back and support that. I really do appreciate it. If you have no idea what I'm talking about or you're new to my channel, there is a video as well that you can go and check out if you want to take part in the 31 day challenge. And finally, I just want to sort of quickly say a big, big thank you to you guys for the support that you've given my channel over the past two years. You really do make it what it is today. And I really do appreciate the support and the ones that regularly come and view and comment on my videos. Um, so a big, big thank you for that. And also thank you to all the companies that have regularly sent me stuff for review as well. That is a really sort of nice bonus to doing YouTube videos. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming and checking it out. Out and um, see you next year. Bye.